very good evening and uh, just a quick one uh, today we have a turntable on the bench and uh, it's not just any turntable it's actually a Sony uh, let me turn it round um, see if I can get it in one of these cameras there we go it's a Sony um, PS-LX60P and this came from uh, a reused shop and it's it's basically a turntable from a hi-fi system um, that you know re used to power the turntable by itself um, without sort of uh, using standard sort of plugs or anything so let me just show you the the wiring at the back so what comes out of the uh, turntable is your standard uh, RCA jacks and you also have this dedicated uh, wire which is actually the power cable as well and um, I checked up with the service information and all this turntable wants is 12 volts so what I plan to do is I plan to not disturb this plug at all I'm going to keep this plug exactly as it is and what I will do with it is I will actually take it into the unit and put a separate socket same as uh, you get for a, um, a guitar pedal or something like that and just drill a hole for one of the standard sort of uh, um, 5.1 mil uh, jacks just to provide 12 volts which means I can use a, a laptop type supply to actually provide the power for it so what I'll do is uh, first of all I shall um, turn it over um, once I've taken the uh, the dust cover which is broken unfortunately uh, off the case put that down to one side and the platter now it is a belt drive turntable there is a belt in there um, how good this entire thing is I don't know um, originally somebody sent it to the tip and uh, the guys at the tip tend to grab things and resell them so that's where I got it so what I'm gonna do is uh, gonna have a look um, the stylus itself looks uh, okay I wouldn't say it looks brilliant but um, uh, it, it looks reasonable um, and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna take out all of the screws that are marked with the arrow which is how you get it apart now on the bottom you do actually have speed adjustment so you can actually set the speed accurately um, if you have the right sort of uh, timing equipment right sort of belt so let me take all these screws out and then that should just come straight off like that and you're left with as you see not a lot of uh, stuff at all in there so all I've got to do is actually find a point at which to um, tap my 12 volts in and seeing as the, the power cable is coming in here I might as well put the jack in um, sort of round there making sure I don't drill this cable itself uh, and attach it to those points there so let me get a jack and uh, a drill and work out what size I need and then we can carry on from there back in a minute right okay so here we are back again and I have the drill ready with a step bit and I have the jack and I also have a very fine file now the reason is um, these jacks will fit a 12 mil round hole but they'll also fit a 10 mil 
oval hole. So as I don't have any oval drill bits, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it at 10 mil and then just slowly expand the hole till it becomes oval shaped uh, with a file. And um, then that should just fit in quite nicely and uh, stay in one position and shouldn't twist around. So let's just find the relevant place that I'm going to drill. And as I say, this is not an exact science. This is uh, about as rough and ready as I'm going to get. And let's oh, bash that camera. Right, let's just... Uh, So we want to be about there, and the 10 mil one is um, 6, 8, 10. So there's the 10 mil one. So I want to go to about there. And that's the drilling done. And as you see, we should have a nice smooth hole there. So all it needs is just checking the size of that. Yeah, it doesn't need to be taken out much, which is why I'm using a fine file. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. So rather than you watch me filing everything, uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Uh, at the side. And at the moment I'm just uh, putting in some bits of wire to actually connect the power supply up. Um, the soldering iron has been warming up. Let me just uh, take the lead out from underneath the deck. And uh, solder these cables on. Okay, right, now that we're as together as we're going to be, uh, I think it's time for a final test. So let's make sure selector is on 30 centimetres, which is your 12 inch record. The speed is set to 33. Let's push the start button and see what happens. And that lifted, moved across, and then went straight into the uh, into the intro zone. So rather than get a copyright strike, I think we'll stop it there. Now let's move it manually so that we're almost at the end. And here we are, we're just on the fade out, just before we go uh, skating to the centre of the record. And it auto lifts, returns, and powers off. That's perfect. Um, right, let's do another test. Let's just move it to 17 to pretend that we've got a 7 inch. And just to keep the track slightly different, let's uh, turn the record. Let's push the start button. Now it should go to about sort of this position here where uh, a standard 45 would be. And there it is. Now if I push the stop button, a 
it returns to the start and switches off the uh, the deck. I'd say everything was working. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.